at us. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do the stupidest exercises in acting class. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you got to get loose, you know? got to get comfortable with your own flesh <laughs> and your stupid <laughs> face, <laughs> you know? Ah. Uh. Yeah. Welcome to another episode of To the Fullest with Jason Froberg. Please subscribe, like, hit the bell, check us out on social media. Today, I have the incredibly talented singer, not only of the legendary Meatloaf, but the incomparable Dweezil Zappa of Zappa Plays Zappa, Miss <laughs> Sean Coey. Hello, everyone. Hi. Oh, it's such Hi. an honor to have you here, Sean. <laughs> you thank you so much for coming <laughs> on the show. Thank you for having me. You look fantastic. Oh, thank you. You do too as well. Oh, thank well, you, you know. Thank I've you been so letting much. it go. I, the, the, the no <laughs> shave, no haircut look. I'm, I've been trying to hold it together. Your hair looked really short in that picture, though, that I saw online. Oh, I thought, really? I, thought, I was like, oh, he chopped his hair. I, yeah, I, you know. The, Did you have a beard? I, and you, I, There was one yeah. I thought you didn't even have a beard. Yeah, I, I was all clean cut for a while. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of pictures floating around in the Mine like that. It's like whoa. Yeah. All right. That's but a change. I, I just let it good. all go. You really know, good. I I, uh, I I I pretended like uh, everything was going to turn back around mm -hmm. for a while during the pandemic, and exactly. then um, around uh, December, I I had to move and I had mm -hmm. to redo everything and. And I just stopped caring. I was yeah. just like, I'm not going to bother shaving. This is going to take a while to get our lives back together. Yeah, and exactly. The only reason I was doing it was for that corporate money. I was well, trying to look nice for my corporate right. overlords. Yes, exactly. So. so that's why I have my tattoos tucked away. Yeah, I'm Like, right? in case Disney ever hires me. Ha! <laughs> That was one of the ones I got to work for Disney because I had a clean face, <laughs> yeah, like, see? have no tattoos. They have like they have rules. You get you can't right. have I'm any like, exposed tattoos like, or cool. you know. There's if you want to work for Disney, you want to work for the big boys. Exactly. I'm like I got. I'm like I don't want to have a whole sleeve of tattoos and then I have to cover it all up and I'm like. Mm, yeah, what mm. a pain in the butt that yeah, is. I don't know. But you got you got a few cool tattoos, right? I have yeah. a couple. Yeah, I have two. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, I have two tattoos. Nice. Um. Well. <laughs> ah, see, I'm trying to get you to tell no. about it a little bit. <laughs> okay, well, okay, well, all right. Uh, so the one tattoo, I, I, I was like, I just want to get a tattoo. This is like yeah. when I first moved to Las Vegas, 2000. This was back in We Will Rock You days, um, in 2005. And uh, so I was like, yeah, we're going to get a tattoo. I just want, I'm, it's time, I guess, to get a tattoo. Um, and I, so I got a little heart, like, on my hip. And then, and then I was like, what else do I want to get? I'm like looking through the thing. And I was like, let's get, I was like, oh yeah, a kanji symbol of marijuana. That's a good idea. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so I have a kanji symbol of marijuana. Oh, and I'm sure that's I'm exactly like, what it says too. I it does. I looked it up. Did you? I looked it up. <sighs> oh. I looked it up. I looked it up. And if it's, if, it, if the whole internet is wrong, then, then, you know, so be it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but, um. Yes, uh, so that was, um, yeah, that's my story with my tattoos. Um, and then, you know, because I was a big, you know, big pothead then. I mean, yeah. I don't have to tell anybody that. But. No, I won't tell anybody. Um, <laughs> not that I've ever smoked weed in my life, but um, uh, uh, I was an advocate of it. I was an advocate of it. And I was like, it's kind of ridic ridiculous that, you know, it's not legal. And then, of course, it became legal. And Finally, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, so. Yeah. <laughs> right after it became legal, I stopped smoking. I was done with it. It wasn't yeah. cool anymore. It wasn't right. cool anymore, right. so, you know, I gave it up. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I want the stuff they're going to give to me. Uh, Yeah, I also ended up with a big pot leaf on my back. When oh, I really? Yeah, I have the, the Cowboys <laughs> from Hell kind of like a Pantera thing going on ah. with a big giant pot leaf right in between my shoulder blades. Great decision ah, yes. when I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that, you know, I was going to, I knew for a fact I was going to do that stuff the rest of my life. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the decisions we yeah. make when we're young. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And uh, still makes t stupid decisions sometimes, but <laughs> that's what life's <laughs> you know, about. Life is about making mistakes and then learning from them. So, yeah. You know. But uh, yeah, those, I, those, that one's just going to be sitting on my hip for a while. <laughs> 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 That's great. <laughs> yeah, tattoos are fun too. It kind of uh, takes you back to that time and place when you were uh, you thought that uh, this was kind of your deal, mm -hmm. and you can look at, look back on it. Yeah, I'm not like a big Slayer tattoo on my arm. Yes. I don't even really listen to metal anymore. <laughs> you know? But like, yeah, I was exactly. so into it back then. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's a trip what we do, mm -hmm. you know. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know. And then you adult. Lots of cover ups. Yep, lots of cover ups. Lots of cover -ups. And, then, and, then, and then adulting. Yeah. 
So, yeah, speaking <laughs> of adulting, right? So uh, you just got established in a whole new world, right? You're doing a, you know, new place, new life, yeah. new new adventure yeah, new, going on. Yeah, new scene. Um, God, now, that, now we're kind of all in like transition mode too with who knows what's going on with COVID and Delta and all that stuff. But yeah, it's kind of like... Um, just trying to get new projects going and um, been writing and recording, which is I haven't written in years and that's been really great. And so just kind of throwing a bunch of stuff out and trying to balance, you know, everybody's kind of spinning plates right now, unless you're in a show. Some shows are still going on, which is great. Um, and uh, other than that, just kind of, you know, feeling it out with some of my friends that I've known for a long time. We talked about doing some projects and it kind of felt it's falling into place sort of slowly as things are opening up. So. That's yeah, fantastic. Trying to, trying to stay busy with that, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like nothing. nothing's for sure right mm -hmm. now. It's just kind of whatever I can take in the moment to make yeah. a couple extra bucks. And, right, yeah. And so, survive. Exactly. And they're all like new projects. Um, so, you know, a few new bands, um, uh, the Renaissance Rock Orchestra. Um, we actually, um, there's a couple albums out um, of that of that band. Um, Greg Fox is the one who uh, put it together. I love um, Greg. And yeah, he's awesome. I think and, I have a flyer here too. And we, uh, I had sung on a couple of the albums and, um, and um, this was a couple years ago, obviously, and, and uh, before COVID. And I sang backups um, <clears throat> for a track for the live performance because he said, I want to go out and make this a live performance. Um, and, you know, there's lots of strings and everything like that. So there's, there's backup tracks and strings and things like that. But they're more like ghost. They're very low backups but anyways so we finally ended up getting to do a show at notoriety last thursday um and that was the debut of the premiere kind of a showcase thing for the first for the uh, renaissance rock renaissance rock orchestra like live band um and it went really well it was great so he, we're trying to get it out there more um and trying to get you know he's trying to book some extra gigs hopefully we'll get to notoriety maybe once a month that's kind oh. of the rumor um but yeah it was it was great it was great and great band. That's um, awesome. Yeah. It's nice to have those regular gigs you can depend on. Yes. Because it's late, they're few and far between in this industry. Yeah. Yeah. So that was like, you know, like a debut of that project. Um, and a uh, couple other things going on. Um, uh, I'm, I have a band uh, that I'm working with called Dazed and Confused, which is a brand new band uh, that I just, well, it's not, they're not a brand new band. Um, but they had another singer. Um, he left and they were looking for another singer. And I ended up joining their band. Uh, it's a couple guys that I, well, my friend Mike DeLamo on drums, who I played with years ago, called me about it. And uh, so I went in and did a little audition, and they ended up picking me up. And, um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's all like Van Halen, uh, Deep Purple, uh, ACDC, um, Led Zeppelin. All that high pitched like, classic all rock. All that high pitched, like, like really real classic rock. There. Yeah, yeah. It's so much fun. It's just a, you know, a, bass guitar drums me and that's so it's a little bit it's a little band we played the sand dollar a couple times and now we're going to be at vamped on august 20th nice um that'll be kind of our next gig out uh, at a different venue other than the sand dollar because we've only done a couple sand dollars so all right yeah so um uh august 20th it'll be mary cry krias Mary Kriya. Kriya. Yeah, we were talking about that before Mary the Kriya. show. I, I learned how to say your name properly on here yeah so mary Kriya's band will be first i I believe it starts at eight or I can't remember if it's eight or nine on the on the twentieth, but it'll be it's like an hour of of Mary Kriya's band. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of her band. Um, I'll look it up. Yes, um, and then Leona X is going to be going on uh, as a second act, and then uh, we're going on uh, from eleven to twelve that night. So. It should be a fun night of music. Hell Mary. Hell what Mary. What a cool name. <laughs> I love I know, Mary yeah, I read that. She's an amazing she awesome. person and a yeah. fantastic vocalist. Yes, she is. And I'm sure I can find the flyer here. There's the flyer. Hey. Once it boots up here a second. My internet works like cool. crap on this laptop okay. in here. Ha -ha. Get it together, man. I know, right? So unprofessional. I need to get a wire <laughs> so connection going. Yeah, so dazed and confused. Featuring Sean Coey, look at that. And oh, Leona shoot. X. Oh, I didn't even know there was one. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the I can, now that I can see it because I'm blind. <laughs> Hell, Mary. <laughs> well, that cool. sounds fun. Oh, and it's got Jeff Duncan in the band, too, huh? 
Oh, well, cool. I see, I haven't cool. even noticed Oh, well, that's going to be a hell of a show. It's going to be, yeah. It's going to be a blast. Awesome. Yeah, I got to um, I gotta have her back on. And also, Leona. I'm going to definitely have Leona and get her on. Yeah, here, she's I love been, Leona. we've been in touch this week, too. So, yeah. Um, She's awesome. And we're hoping to do some five voltage stuff again in the future. Yeah, that's still kind going of a, on. We're still all kind of in discussions, you know, but it's just like, it just, it's, you know, everything's kind of up in the air right now. Yeah. So, and now, you know, obviously she's doing the 20th and, you know, our band's doing the 20th. So we're kind of both focused on that right now. Awesome. Um, and, but yeah, I mean, everybody's kind of interested. I mean, we, you know, in the feelers in the band, everybody's interested. It's just a matter of can we get everybody together? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, because of COVID, everybody's got different projects now. So, but, you know, we've talked about it. Everybody's interested. I have to um, say, Five Voltage is the best ACDC tribute band name oh, ever. I mean, what a yeah. fantastic name. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a, yeah, I mean, Leo's so great at like coming up with stuff like that. She yeah. just, yeah, she and she's a super fan, you know, so she's just all about it. Like, she's the one who is like, watch this live video from blah, 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 whatever city. And like, you know, just uh, watch how, you know, how they're moving around the stage. And, you know, it's cool. Like, she's really all about, like, making it very authentic to their style and, you know, you know the staging and everything that, that they do. But, um, yeah, it's been it's been really cool. It's been really fun to do. It kills the shit out of my voice, of, of course. course. <laughs> they're like, I'm like singing Broadway show tunes at Kenny Davidson's cabaret and then going over there and singing <laughs> fucking have a drink on me and like uh, <laughs> back in black and you know the yeah, jacket singing on his, ACDC it's like, for 70 minutes a is rough oh my god I'm like how does he do that I mean I have to drink like eight bottles of water while I'm up there and oddly oh, enough yeah. I mean I, alcohol no 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 because I mean as soon as I drink uh, like any sip of, of alcohol like literally just, just like just dries you out so much and you would think that like drinking would make you sound more like Brian Johnson. <laughs> but it doesn't work that way for me. It's never worked that way for me. I'm like, I have to drink more water the more I want to scream because otherwise I have no control. I just get like dry myself out completely, especially in the desert. Not a good idea. Um, yeah, so, it makes you yeah. think you sound better though. It makes you think you sound better. Yeah. And then you watch it later and you're like, ooh. That was always <laughs> my game. I would no. always get on stage and get wasted back in my 20s oh, and yeah. think I was amazing. <laughs> You know, yeah. in my own mind, mm -hmm. I killed it. <laughs> Thankfully, there wasn't Nailed as many it. phones around. <laughs> well, sometimes you have more energy. I mean, more, um, you know, you just lose your inhibitions. But Yeah, that's but, yeah, true, though. Yeah, you know, but, you don't care what you, what anybody is uh, thinking about you, and you just yeah, let it loose, sometimes. which is one of, that's kind of a key to being <laughs> yeah. a singer, too. you got to let it out. You right. Know, you can't hold back right. and, but, yeah, and be just, nervous about it. No, no, not for me. But, um, but, oh, I wanted to go back and just mention the other guys' names in, in Days of Confused because I said my, uh, Mike DeLamo on the drums. So Days of Confused, August 20th at Vant. Uh, that's Mike DeLamo on drums, Mac Rico, Max Rico on guitar and vocals. And uh, this, this time we will have uh, Sean Maxwell on bass. So we're looking forward to that. But just want to give a shout out to those guys. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I dig it. Yeah, and you're also, really so you're also doing a thing with, uh, with Phil Verone, aren't you? Yes, yes. Um, that we so we've been collaborating, um, doing some writing, uh, recording. Uh, he had um, I sang. Um, we're working on some original songs. I'm writing some original songs uh, with him. Like he'll send he'll send me some uh, melodies, and I'll I'll come up with lyrics and um, and uh, so um, I'm singing on the. Uh, 30 Years a Drummer documentary soundtrack, um, which that drops uh, October 15th. That's his documentary. Um, and uh, I have a couple songs that I'm singing um, on the new Panic Boom album that he's working on. So I'll be um, uh, doing some vocals on that. And it's been great. It's been really great. That's pretty cool. I yeah, think I, I found like a web page for 30 Years a Drummer we have right up here. Yeah, that's... Uh interesting what he's got going on yeah. right? I think he has like a whole timeline going on first mm -hmm. drum set band ripping fingers Saigon kick mm -hmm. that's yep. awesome yeah Phil Brown oh, he's planet boom yep planet boom and then skid row absolutely I think yep. I have he's got uh, good stories <laughs> I, I think I have a drum ring from Phil still that I, I just got a oh, yeah. um, shadow box to frame when he was playing in uh when he was playing in skid row mm. they they took a uh a round uh mic stand round bottom mic stand from the lead vocals and 
smashed it into the kick drum and it just like exploded into a million <laughs> pieces in the the uh, retaining ring on the front that holds the kick drum head in like shot off and I jumped on stage. Oh, my God. grabbed that, <laughs> stuck it over my shoulders, and then I snatched a bunch of picks off the <laughs> mic stand and like crowd surfed out into the crowd. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, free what? swag. Yeah, yeah, right on. <laughs> so, that was a lot of fun. They were crazy. That's awesome. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> they have good stories. Yeah, uh, freaking Skid Row, man. What oh a my great god. band. Absolutely. I've always loved that band. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, I've been really excited about that. It's been, it's been so great to write again because I took so. I used to write all the time, and then I took years. I couldn't write anything, and. I finally just started journaling and just writing stuff again and not judging it and just kind of, I was like, screw it. This is what I want to do. I want, I want to write again. I missed writing so much, Yeah. but, um, I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. It just was not there and I can't force myself to do it. And so I finally got to a spot where I was like, you know, I just started writing shit down and it just kind of manifested into, we, you know, I was recording something, um, cause he, he and him and, uh, Michael T. Ross, and um, um, uh, Alex Rodriguez. Um, is that what I'm thinking of? Shoot, I can't remember his last name. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, um, but we we they were doing just some like some random videos, just putting them up on on YouTube, and and they had covers of songs and stuff like that. They were just recording with different people, and I went in and sang um, a Carol King song. And they just arranged it. We made a little video, and then that's kind of how I got. We kind, you know, I went over to Phil's house and we recorded it over there. And then um, I did the video, and then you know, we just threw some stuff together just for fun. And um, it turned into, you know, like what you know, they he, I talked to him, and you know, he has music that, um, that he had that needed lyrics and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know, I, if you ever have anything, he, you know could send it or whatever he's like yeah if you have do you write lyrics i'm like yeah yeah i'm like yeah i'd love to try to get in, back into that and so i just started writing more and and um so he just kind of gave me gives me material and i'm trying to come up with stuff and you know see where it goes but we we made some <laughs> we made some like random um like i don't even know if i <laughs> well we made some random music that together but <laughs> i'm not gonna say what it is because I don't know if we're ever going to play it for anyone, but it was like, this would be really cool. Why don't we try to throw these two songs together and see what happens? Like, and that's kind of how it started. And then we started writing and yeah, so, but it's fun. It's, it's been really fun. I love it. Yeah. It's been, a, it's been a good outlet finally again to just be able to sit down and write and not judge it too much. And yeah, yeah so I'm gearing up to write some original music myself. Yeah. Finally, I'm fine. I got the bug good. again. Like good. it took me a while ever since uh, we did the Cracker Man thing a few years ago. Yes. And I was doing the Primus thing, and that yes. was fun. I was going to ask you about Cracker Man too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Tyler's killing it with Alligator Blood now. Oh, he has this okay. whole new band, and he's just he's okay. awesome. He's a he's a righteous self promoter and a very <laughs> very driven individual. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's doing great. That's good. Yeah, he's doing That's great. Good. So yeah, um, but yeah, I, I I'm I'm finally feeling that bug again. I was mm -hmm. watching Lollapalooza on um, Hulu Live. Mm -hmm. I was like, what am I doing, man? I'm supposed to be writing music and playing music. Absolutely, and, it's like, know. what do you? Yeah, I mean, I don't even care. I just I just was like, I don't even care. I'm not trying to go out and I don't care. I didn't have a I didn't really have a goal for it. I was just like, I just want to write some songs. I just want to yeah. start writing. And it's been really cool. It's been really fun. Now I'm like, oh. And then there, he was like, you know, there's a song my singer, you know, one of the guys was like, you know, he was he knew my voice from something that Phil sent him that we did. And he's like, does she like, you know, we should put her on one of our songs. He's like, I, I kind of wanted to have a female vocal on one of these songs. So that's how I ended up on uh, the Panic Boom album that they're putting out. So nice. Yeah. So, so we'll see. I mean, I was just like, it's, I mean, it was, you never know what's going to come out of just like, you know, creating something. Yeah. You know? So I was like, that's cool. It's a cool opportunity. But, um, but yeah, it was, it's just, a, it's, you know, I don't have any expectations. Yeah. <laughs> it would be nice to, for, to have songs go somewhere, you know, but yeah, right you know, now I'm just enjoying life. and not worrying about it too much. Yeah. Just enjoying putting it down on paper. 
That's, you know, what I you say know. is uh, I'm just going to start uh, living like I want to live regardless of success, you mm-hmm. know, like yeah. get, a, get a small camper and just <laughs> right do little tours every summer yep. and just go, well, this is my album and I'm going to play to six people who don't know who I am. <laughs> right. They're just the locals at the bar and I'm going to go play my songs and I'll have fun doing totally, it. You know? And I'll totally. just go do a little road trip and. Absolutely. I won't be, I'll never be famous. I'll never make any money and I'll eat up whatever money I have, but it'll be fun. <laughs> it'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm totally going to take my scion and just like trick it out. <laughs> like just make it into like a home. Yeah. Which I have a friend who actually goes camping and does that. <laughs> so oh, really? I, like, and, Scion's good for that. It's got, it's got, yeah, it's got, I'm like, it's a mom car. I don't really need all that room. Yeah. You know, but if I ever had to live in my car, <laughs> right? <laughs> which hopefully I don't ever have to, but. But if I ever do, then I'm gonna trip up my side and then you know have some have one of have my friend build me a bed back there. <laughs> uh, That's never gonna happen. No, no, no. of course not. <laughs> and I've had I've had to live but in, uh, in to, I've wanted. had to live in my car a few times and yeah? it's not that bad. You know, I was it's say, not well, that bad. That as long bad. as it's not freezing outside, you know, you're like oh, you know, adjust to it. I'll wake up when the sun comes up. I'll go about my business. I got shit yeah. to do. I'm living in my car. I ain't got time to worry <laughs> about it. You know, right. it's like it's time to hit the pavement. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, exactly. Uh, right on. So you don't really think about it too much whenever yeah. you're at that place. Uh, well, yeah, I yeah. bet. It's survival. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, some of the best uh, some of the best times of my life were when I was living in my car and sleeping really? on park benches, <laughs> and I had no. <laughs> It was just, I don't know, it was crazy. I know I, that. It seems fun. Yeah. When I was younger, you know, before I before I started the whole audio engineering thing, mm-hmm. I was still trying to just be a musician. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it was, it was actually really freeing. Mm-hmm. And like getting to that place mm-hmm. and surviving and coming back out of it. Absolutely. It doesn't really have that that fear anymore right, like that true. like oh shit what happens if i'm homeless it's like you were homeless dog it was, you'll be fine yeah <laughs> yeah i know I know, I know other people have gone through it too and yeah. it's like sometimes it's yeah it's sometimes it's just the, it's just the course of life and then and you know especially being a musician and trying to make it and do all that stuff in addition to whatever else is going on in your life and you know i mean our business you never know what's going to happen it's feast yeah. or famine it really is. You know? And sometimes you just have to be willing to sacrifice mm-hmm. everything so you can be out performing all the time. And you're Absolutely. like, I don't have time to get a job. I'm going to be out on the road for the next three months. Right. I'll sleep where <laughs> my head lies yep. kind of thing. And, yep. you know, whatever. You make it work. <laughs> yeah, you just make it work. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, you know, and uh, it seems like it's, it. you know, it seems like, oh, my gosh, I, I don't know if I'd be able to do that. But it's like I've, I look back on it super fondly. Like that was such an adventure and it was a really exciting time in my life mm-hmm. and I wouldn't trade it for the world mm-hmm. you know it was, it was, it's yeah, fantastic that's cool. honestly that's cool yeah but we do uh, we do the camping thing too we got the, that Subaru now and mm-hmm. uh, we're actually looking on putting one of those plastic things on top of it where you can like lift it up and oh. like sleep on the, yes, on the roof yes. so you don't even have to set up a tent oh that's but nice Angela and I got a fantastic camping rig set up to go out and do all the outdoorsy stuff now too which oh, is cool we just love that shit man we love it so much that's so great yeah I, I really want to go out and do like like go real camping like yeah you know, I've never actually gone real camping I used oh, to play really? in the woods all the time I'm like I, I grew up in the woods like how did I never go camping you know well I know I know why because my mom hates camping she was like no she doesn't even like she doesn't like animals in the house no 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 she no 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 I'm like I'll just roll around in the dirt you can go and live in the hotel I'm like <laughs> but yeah my mom was the same way growing up she's, <laughs> she's like no. as long as there's a hotel nearby yeah I'm sleeping in the hotel. Yeah, she's like, why would I leave the hotel? Yeah, and then I'll come to the campsite <laughs> during the day, and then at night I'm going. You can sleep outside if you want. I'm going back to the hotel. Yes, that's my mom as yes. well. Yeah, yeah, my mom, no, no, no way. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have to. I'm, I'm, I'm going to invite you out. Me and my buddy are planning right. a camping trip just up to Arizona. It'll be a That'd short be awesome. drive. There's a little reservoir out there, so there's gonna be water, and okay. just it's it's just a chill thing. Like we're, I go I go a few times a year and just get nice. away from the city and yep. go yeah. hiking, and and we film and we do. I mean working on videos for the YouTube page. I'm getting really close, actually, to having oh, yeah? some videos done. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, they're all, they're getting edited. I just got voiceovers to do, and then I have these, like, nature-y, like, meditation and yoga videos. Oh, sweet. And we're doing, like, live um, static shots that'll run for a while and play chill music behind them and just, like, you know, random nature-y stuff. I could, I could totally get into that. Yeah. A little meditation, a little yoga stuff. I love that stuff. That <laughs> stuff too. changed my life. Me so. too. Do you, do you, wait, do you do hot, uh, hot yoga? I don't do the hot say, the yeah. hot yoga. Okay. I just do uh, regular yoga. But when I'm out doing them in the woods, it's hot yoga. It's yeah. freaking hot out there. Yeah, I've been doing my workouts in my garage. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, 
It's like it's like doing hot kickboxing now. I'm like I just I feel like I do like when you go to a hot yoga place or when they have the other classes and stuff. It's the same thing. I'm like 45 minutes in my garage and I'm like it's free. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so you're doing kickboxing too? Uh, it's actually. I'll give my friend a shout out too. Um, it, there's a, a class in town called Eight Strikes, um, and my friend over COVID did. He was he's been like my main trainer over the last ten years, um, but he had he had a class at LBAC called Eight Strikes, and then over COVID he made it a Zoom class. So he was offering uh, Zoom classes, um, um, you know, monthly. So he had he goes it's Monday through Friday, um, ten a.m. and or ten thirty a.m. and six p.m. Uh, and then there's one class on Friday and then Sunday, Saturday and Sunday are off. But it's the best, it's the best class, the best cardio class I've ever taken. Yeah. It still kicks my ass. <laughs> I still, it, it's like, I can't, I mean, I still can't get through that class. And there, even when I'm like, all right, I'm in tip top shape right now. I feel like, mm. <laughs> like, <laughs> like and there's still, yeah. I'm like, whoo, he, he's, it's great. It's great. So eight strikes. Yes. Look it up if you ever, he's got an Instagram. Let me look it up for, uh, yeah. he's got an Instagram yeah, called Eight Strikes. Eight, eight Strikes. It's, it's, a, an, it's it up an awesome quick, class. Give a shout out. Um, yeah, yeah, cardio you kicks good, my butt It's too. no contact. It's just a group fitness class. You know? oh, okay, yeah. So, it's like uh, Zoom or whatever. Yeah, he does it on I'll Zoom. even give him a follow. <laughs> eight Strikes. This is the guy right here. Alan Giron. Uh, yeah, that. Alan Giron, Eight mm -hmm. Strikes Athletic. There you go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he's doing all kinds of cool yep. stuff. I love yeah. it. I'm all about the fitness thing. Yeah, yeah. He and his wife do that. They just were doing it out of their living room in their house. And it picked up tons of people. So so we were able to do that over <laughs> the course of COVID, which is awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Yeah. yeah, the cardio is the the cardio is the worst part of it all. I do the I do the P ninety X and they have the cardio is called plyometrics. It's okay, I've heard of that. Training. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Kick it doesn't matter ass. how good a shape I am or <laughs> yeah. how many days I've been going yeah. for in a row, you know. And I'm I like feeling good. good. <laughs> it's just like by the end of plyo, I'm just like kill me. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep. just dripping sweat. Oh yeah, exactly. It's like a hundred tuck jumps. Go. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that burpees. No, no. Oh my gosh, burpees I hate are the worst. burpees. <laughs> yeah, those are the worst. <laughs> I was doing burpees on a one leg of burpees with a med ball today. Oh, fun. Yeah. We, we do it on occasion. On occasion, he'll yeah. make us do one like hops. And, no. no. No, 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 no. But yeah, I just try to f focus on uh, on the yoga for the videos I've been doing. Yes. Because I really like the yoga. And I like it, it really too. is. Uh, it's the balance. Yeah. I like to balance it up. It's my favorite day. Yes, it's yoga, yoga, yoga day, day each great. week. Yeah, and so I and I've gotten pretty good at it. I'm skinny and mm -hmm. flexible, so it's the you, one uh, I can look. You look like a yoga dude. Me. Thank you. you. Yeah, you totally do. I yeah, you have. <laughs> you're a yoga dude. <laughs> no. So yeah, I should, hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be out by the end of the, uh, this month of August. I'll have it uh, done. So it's it's taken me forever. We actually mm -hmm. shot three different times. We went did three different trips, three different sh uh, shoots. And like the third one came out like, oh, that's actually usable. Like we <laughs> had no idea what we we're doing. That's you awesome. Know? So it you took a while. Have, if you ever have like the little people behind you doing the yoga. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Hey. I might actually hitch up. <laughs> you know? Well, you I know, maybe if you, maybe if you end up in Arizona with me, you know, we'll go camping. Right on. Just, you know, <laughs> we'll do video. a yoga video Yay. out by the lake. It'll have a lake behind us. It'll be beautiful. That would be awesome. Yeah. That would be awesome. I, I love yoga. I miss yoga. Yeah. Yeah. I miss my hot yoga. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the last thing anybody wants to do in COVID is go to a hot yoga class. Yeah. 110, <laughs> like it's like 103 <laughs> degrees humidity of like people sweating right next to you. No, I don't think that's going to work. The COVID. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. No, so that's, that's gross. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to do that. I know. I miss my jujitsu too. I need to get back into that. Yeah. And that's like just grappling and sweating all yeah. over each oh, other. Yeah. <laughs> and I might start doing it again now that it's, I don't know. They're, you know, they're saying it's boot booming and spiking and everything yeah, and I know. hopefully it'll yeah. secede again and then I can start doing jujitsu again as Heck well yeah. I really liked that that's a, like I listened to guys talk about it online and I went and tried it out my buddy Lalo from Vamped I don't know if you mm. remember Lalo this one of the security guards at Vamped okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but he has his own jujitsu school and it's nice. fantastic he's an amazing instructor mm. and uh and I was taking his classes for a second there, and oh, cool. and uh, I fucked my ribs all up, and oh, no. I had to take a break, and then I just never went back. <laughs> oh no! So, yeah, once you get the momentum, it's like yeah. it's hard to get back off the couch once you sit back. Oh yeah, <laughs> and those ribs take forever to heal. Oh yeah. Like, oh, because you can't do anything for ribs, can you? No, you just, just gotta let it go. Like not breathe for. Yeah. Three weeks, <laughs> like six six months or something like that's what it ended up taking. Much. Yeah. <laughs> so by the time they healed, we were in the middle of COVID and everything was shut down. Mm -hmm. And then, 
And it was like, oh, all right, I got to mm-hmm. get back. He's opened back up. I got to go. I got to go roll around with some some people again. That mm-hmm. was fun. I sucked at it. I was so bad <laughs> at jujitsu. <laughs> really? Yeah, I was so bad at it. Not, but the, I really the yoga enjoyed dude's it. Bad at jujitsu. Yeah, you know, my problem was I was smoking too much weed. Oh, there you go. See, exactly. Would, That's the thing. Yeah, yeah it's like. <sighs> gassing out i, I signed up gas. for like taekwondo like when like when back when i was smoking a lot of weed <laughs> it's like <laughs> i'm like yeah i'm gonna go do taekwondo and i was like i'm totally ready to go i paid for like i don't know how many glasses never went to one <laughs> <laughs> yeah nope that's what it is it's like those gym memberships man. Donuts. those freaking gym memberships get you they you put all that money up front and then and, yeah, i'm good never about the show gym i'm good about the gym i'm good about the gym membership but 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 yeah. Just, yeah, the, or the taekwondo just went down the drain. Yeah. I had I had a gi and everything. Yeah, <laughs> the gi. It was hanging in my closet, and I was like, it's "Not gonna happen." It was uh, right next door to my house. No, can't make it that far. <laughs> I was almost a black belt in taekwondo when I was younger. Like, <laughs> really? my, I, I was doing it since I was like, I don't know, seven years old or something like that. I got I got put in taekwondo by my dad. I won it. I like a blockbuster video. They had one of those little things you put the slot in yes, and you win, you win yes. some free lessons. Yep, yep. And then I just loved it so much. And oh, we, that's he cool. rolled my brother and we we kept going. We were like, uh, we were brown belts. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we, oh, were, we were real young. It was I, fun. I wish I would have done something like that. Well, I was dancing and stuff. So that's yeah. that's what's my thing. Oh, yeah. But, dancing's yeah. fantastic. That's, that's a blast. It was. I miss dancing. I have dreams about dancing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do. That's what so kind weird. of dancing were you doing? Um, Everything. I did jazz, tap, gymnastics, ballet, um, modern. Wow. Um, yeah, I did better all that stuff. That I, I was like, that was kind of my plan at first. It was to be a dancer, and then, then I started doing plays, and then learned how to sing, and went into musical theater because, because I was like, well, I don't really want to choose between the three. I was like, <laughs> I want to work on all of them. You know, uh, <laughs> decisions, decisions. Yeah, I was exactly, like, I don't want to have right? to choose. That, yeah. No. So, so then I ended up becoming a singer, dancer, more like singer, dancer, actor, more kind of going out of school after I got training because I like singing was the thing I was probably the most shy about when I first went into school <laughs> oddly enough but but then uh I hurt my ankle really bad at an audition like my first year um and so I couldn't dance for a few months like, it was really bad like I almost broke it and it was like just ripped up like all my tendons in my ankle <laughs> um and uh, so I was off dancing, so I got really depressed, and I was like, what am I going to do? Like, dancing was my thing. So I finally, like, my sophomore year, I started dancing again, you know, after I healed and stuff, but, you know, I was more into singing and, you know, and then kind of pulled it together by the end of my sophomore year and, like, really, like, focused, and we had sophomore evaluations, and, you know, that's when they kind of tell you, like, well, you we think you might want to go another direction, or they tell you, yeah, like, stick at musical theater. <laughs> so. Yeah. So I was prepping for those, and then by that point, I was like getting more confident in my vocals, and and you know doing more in my acting classes, and kind of had a more of a balance. Um, but yeah, I, I, as I kind of graduated, it was like I'm now more of a singer, dancer, actor, singer first though, um, and uh, then. After touring and stuff, I kind of you know I got to dance some, but then was doing bands and stuff like that, and. Um, I didn't get to dance as much, you know, I got to sing more and act more and then dance a little less. So then I kind of transitioned into yoga and kickboxing. I was like, <laughs> well, I need to do something active. So I've always been active, but like that kind of keeps me going. Yeah. You know, like just like feel better when I go and work out and take care of myself. But Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I, I, I just started back up. I took a I, I kind of, you know, I, I go into dips where I go, I'm not working out for oh, a yeah. couple of weeks. And I just started again today and it kicked oh, my butt. You. And it's just like, oh, I just, you know, that first day back oh, after yes. a week or two off. And you're like, man, like, it woo. just goes, you all that muscle you built up plummets. And you're like, this <laughs> yes. is so hard again. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, uh, I yeah. survived it, though. Yes, yeah. good for you. Yeah. You got to get if you have the first few in and then it's like, all right, I'm in the routine. That's it, you know. Tomorrow I got that dreaded plyo, so I'll be I'll be hurting tomorrow. It's worth it though. It is. Oh it's yeah. I feel when you complete those days that you're like not looking forward to mm-hmm. when you wake up, those feel the best. That's yeah. the day you're just like I take on the friggin' world. I Absolutely. did that this morning. 
Absolutely. Oh. And speaking of acting, I looked. I was looking up uh, stuff about you, and I found you have an IMDb page. Oh, I do. Yeah, because <laughs> you I, I were. I don't think I knew that. You were in a movie called The Whiskey Man and the oh, Rider. Oh, movie on the IMDb. Right. Oh my and God. it looks like uh, that was with Jimmy Romero from Jimmy the Helen Romero. Bags. Romero of the Helen Bags. Zach Throne, Todd, Todd Kearns. Oh, that's pretty cool. A bunch yep. of friends. Yep. That's cool. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, that came out a couple years ago. Oh, yeah, two, three years ago? I don't know what it says on there. Uh, 2018. 2018. 18, 18. God, yeah. it was, oh God, it was three years ago. Um, yeah, that was really fun. He does, uh, yeah, Jimmy does, Jimmy's always, Jimmy Romero's always working on something. He does short films, he does, he's got the Helen Backs, which is his band, um, and uh, writing his own music, just, uh, he does little projects here and there, film, you know, does videos, he does photography for people now, I think, too. Um, and I think he has for a while. Uh, he used to be a fitness trainer. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. He used, or he, I believe he was a boxing, uh, a boxing coach or yeah, like back in LA. So he's done like, wow. it's funny. Yeah. 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 I was just working with him All the other things. day. He's talking about coming on the show. He should. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah I'll probably have him on sooner than later. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Little movie credits every once in a yep. while, you know, I had, uh, what, I had Sean Coos on here too, and he has... Some random movie credits he had oh, yeah. forgotten all about. <laughs> yeah. it's funny. Oh God, yeah. Oh shoot, I, I, I don't. It's funny because you forget things that you do. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, oh my God, I've, I've had like every job there is now. I'm like, <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there, like you know, I did a couple commercials. Like I did. There's a, there's a, it's on YouTube somewhere, but it's um, um, some like HGTV giveaway thing on the like for some furniture what is that rc willie <laughs> oh really this was years ago but i was like here's the hgtv tv giveaway like it was one of those like <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> oh my gosh it was yes it was funny and i'm like oh my god i did a commercial um I've done, I've done extra work and stuff like that i was a go-go dancer at like tons of clubs i dealt blackjack i was a photographer <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, um, yeah. All kinds of random I've stuff to survive lot, in this of, city. <laughs> I've got lots yeah. of stories. So, yes. and it was a lot, all that going on in Las Vegas. Are you, are you that originally was all from Las Vegas. Las Vegas or? No, I'm no? from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Are you? Okay. Yes, I am. Go Steelers. Oh, there you go. Yes. Good team to, good team to be rooting for. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, black and gold forever. <laughs> um, yeah, the, yep. I, I moved here um, after getting done with a couple or three national tours of theater shows, um, bus and truck, non equity shows, and then came out here. Um, the last tour I did was Saturday Night Fever the Musical. Oh, wow. We, we did five months at the Sahara, um, and then um, it closed, and then a bunch of us got into We Will Rock You when it was here. Uh, oh, okay. at Paris. I that one. So yeah, so that's kind of was like my the biggest step in my career then and that's how I ended up meeting the guys from Meatloaf actually. Oh, okay. A bunch of those guys were in the band at the time and the orchestra band. Though like it was more of a band, but it was like, you know, it was the orchestra um uh, for We Will Rock You and so I met a bunch of those guys and then we all stayed connected and that's how I got the audition later for Meatloaf and you were yeah. amazing in Meatloaf. Aww, I went and saw you sing you. when you were performing in Meatloaf, <laughs> and you. and I was just blown away. Not oh, only with thanks. your performance, because you're just a fantastic vocalist, right? But you're sweet. Meatloaf thank is you. incredible. <laughs> He's amazing. I did not expect such a uh, like wide variety from him when he's mm -hmm. he's like doing acting and he's doing yes. like this whole uh, spectrum of performance mm -hmm. going on during it's not yeah. just him out there right singing meatloaf songs right he does a whole it's a whole show it's a whole yeah and it's very very theatrical obviously and and it was really interesting it, it was a, an amazing experience obviously but and just um I, with the, like the notes that he would give were all acting notes you know and sp staging you know so it was cool because i got to relate to him with that and learn a lot from him obviously with that with his experience the experiences that he's had in his life um and he you know we could talk about blocking and you know like it was like the you know the character and what what you know how how i'm gonna react to where he's gonna try something different and you know like just the improv part of it and all of that stuff it was just it's, it was all the acting like he never gave me any notes about the vocals that was kind of more the musical director you know in the band like we would talk vocals and stuff but but meat was always just about 
me. I know. <laughs> like, yeah. Everyone always <laughs> smiles and like, you I call him meat. I'm like, yeah, that's a, you call him meat. Meat. <laughs> 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 meat. Love you, meat. Um, uh, yeah, he, uh, but he would just always give me acting notes and stuff like that, you know. But he was, he was great. It was great to work with him. Yeah, you that know, was, was fantastic. Was how, how long did you end up working bear. with him for? Uh, until he stopped touring. Yeah? Yeah, so we... Oh, so he's done now, huh? Like, well, I, I, as I as mean, he knows. He, he's still doing stuff. He's still... Yeah. I don't know about touring. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what, what his ideas are. Yeah. But, um, like, I just read today he's doing a... I think, or he, I think he's going up and doing one of the... Like a movie... Uh, some movie festival thing. He does a lot of those kind of things. Um, or convention or something. Um, and... Yeah, so we I, I toured with I I joined when he was here at Planet Hollywood in 2014, and then went I think it was 2016, I think I believe it was 2016 that uh, we went we did a Canadian tour, and then at the end of that tour we were supposed to go. It was when the new album came out, and we were supposed to go out uh, on uh, to rehearse and put a, together another tour, and then it just got stopped. So, yeah, yeah. So and that's when I joined Weasel like a month later. And Dweezil, I didn't, yeah. I did not know you were in Dweezil Zappa, <laughs> and I'm a huge Zappa fan, and so is oh, Angela. Yeah, that's so cool. And so, yeah, so we cool. went, we went to see you. Uh, well, we went to see Dweezil, and all of a sudden, oh, I was yeah, just you didn't like, have any idea? That's friggin' Sean Coey up there. I that's know so that funny. is. Oh, that's so funny. That yeah, that's so funny. I don't know how you didn't know that. I, I just like, we're on the same circle. Loop, I guess <laughs> I, I, just, I had no idea you were doing it. Oh my gosh! And uh, it blew my mind when I walked in. It just made my freaking day. And oh, I was like, man. I was, I couldn't tell, and I had to make my way to the front and like confirm. Like I was like, that's <laughs> that's definitely Sean. Oh man, I, yeah. That it was that was so much fun. That was like, and I, I was telling you, I'm like, that was like the third show. I think it was the third show that I did with them. So I was still like. Uh, like nervous yeah. it's a lot of material I was still getting used to that and I'm like oh shit all my friends are gonna be here I'm like I gotta be on, I gotta be on point I gotta know what I'm doing like cause I know all these people like, like they're all gonna be watching you to see if I fuck up like, yeah <laughs> um, a whole music community from Las Vegas right no, yeah, no pressure no, no, no pressure. pressure I was like oh it's all my friends yeah um, but oh man it was so much fun it was a, it was a blast yeah, that's yeah, like that, that the amazing. hardest. I mean, it doesn't get any harder than Zappa plays Zappa. I mean, what are you gonna do besides? Well, that? for me, like, I mean, yeah, I don't know what else. I mean, there's a, there's there are only so many other things that are like more challenging for me for what I do yeah. vocally than that. I mean, unless it's something like opera. I mean, that would be out of my range. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, there's it was it was like. I'm like, I'm going to be ruined for all of the other gigs now. <laughs> but it taught me so yeah. much. Like, even listening back sometimes to songs that we learned when I didn't, some of the stuff that I hadn't heard before that we learned, when I listen to it now, I, or any other kind of music, I hear it differently because I was, I learned, I had to listen. So I was, you know, just, I just learned a lot. I learned a lot in a, in a short amount of time, just getting to do that music yeah. and hearing things differently and, you know, and I didn't realize how much I was learning even when I was there because, <laughs> you know, we were always working on so much stuff. And then later it's like, oh, you know what? That really, that really helped me a lot. I mean, I learned so much. Even, the, and Meatloaf too. Like, I, I mean, I was, I learned so much just about recording, um, like, you know, Pro Tools and just, just being in the studio and, um, and then, you know, with in-ear monitors and like how everything works and adjusting things and, you know, I just learned so much and it, you know, I, I, that was, you know, if it was, I feel like I should have known that stuff. Like I never learned it in my twenties, <laughs> you know, I never learned that stuff. Yeah. And then when I got into meat love, I was like, well, shit, I feel so green. Like, I don't know shit about how that's how any of these <laughs> things work or like, how do I, I'm like, I need more, I need more bass in my ear. <laughs> I need more, like, I, I don't know how, like the panning and all that stuff. I was just like, I didn't know anything about anything. Um, and now it's like, oh, okay. And, you know, I actually was, I, I was, I was granted the experience of, of going through that in like a short amount of time and two, two amazing bands and just like amazing people to work with. And it was, it was, it was an amazing, it was just an incredible part of my life. I'm so grateful that I got to do that. Yeah. You know? And all the things I get to do and the people that I get to know, and there's always something to learn and in all levels of where, however big places you're playing or how small places you're playing. Like there's always something to learn in situations and, you know, it's just like, it's great when you have, when you're surrounded by good people, you yeah. know, who are, you know, it's like sometimes you can get wrapped up in, oh, there's like nobody here. Like, 
you know, or just like, blah, all this, you know, it's, it's so stressful because we only have this amount of time and everything seems to be going wrong and blah, 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 or just like ego trips or, you know, <laughs> you know, stuff just gets negative sometimes. And oh, yeah. like sometimes you just got to step back and go, wait a minute, just play the song. Yeah. Just, just play the song. Let's play the song. Like, no, nobody in that audience is going to give a shit. Uh, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Probably. Then I'll like, mm, They'll never even know, know it was happening. They're never going to know if, like, just if you look like you're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're going to have fun. Like, isn't that, like, isn't that why we're doing this? This is why we're not sitting behind a desk from nine to five every day. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's called playing for a reason, right? Yeah. You know, like, like that's did, why I did this. You didn't this. show up to work the song. You showed up to play the song. Yeah. yeah they're going to have like, fun. I mean, things get annoying. I totally get it. But, you know, yeah. sometimes everybody gets pissed off. But, like, you know. That's show business. It, yeah. You know, everybody's too wrapped up in trying to make this vision come into reality. And, uh, yeah, that can get real crazy. Yeah, but it's bad when it, it's only unfortunate when it's, like, it's not fun. You know, when you're, like, yeah. I'm not having any fun. Like, I've been, I've been lucky to be able to be on a lot of projects where it's just, like, great energy. You know, when I look back at a lot of the things I got to do and. And it's, you know, I try to not trip up over the silly stuff and just be like, all right, I'm just going to go stay in my corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's always, always going to be silly it bullshit. It always happens, but. Yeah. yeah. No, so. that's, uh, that's been my biggest, uh, my biggest steps uh, forward I've been trying to take is like letting go all that ego bullshit and just going, I just don't, I just, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing so much better with it now, especially mm -hmm. like uh, doing front of house or like mm. being the stage manager, or running monitors. Yeah. It's like. No, you have responsibilities and you have all right. these people relying on you to like get their message across and their egos are piling on top of right. <laughs> yours and right, um right. and like and I know for a long time I was just like, Don't you know how awesome I am at doing this and I'm gonna <laughs> do a great job and I just I'm but if you fucking do this and this, I can't do my job oh. well. And it was just a bunch of bullshit, yeah. you know? It's and now easy. I go and I go, Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah whatever. You do you and yeah. I'll I'll take care they of go, my okay, stuff. Well, we want all this and this and this and this and this, <laughs> and now we're going to do it this way. And I go, yeah, yeah, That's good. I don't care. Let's it's, it's do like it that it's, way. It's so much less stressful when you can do that, yeah. when, you can, when you can step back and do, be able to do that. Oh, yeah. Get, instead of getting wrapped up in it. You know? oh, I, it's, it's, it's a blessing. Yeah. I'm glad I worked on it because I, yeah. stopped, I stopped focusing yeah. on like the technical gain and was like, let's read some of this like learning how to control your ego and your <laughs> bullshit. And, you know, and, and right now on. I go on and I'm, that's just great. It's just yeah. duck feathers all day. I used yes. to get, I used to get in arguments yeah. with bands. Really? Yeah. I don't, I've never seen you get it. I don't think, well, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm. Well, I never with any of your bands. Oh, this, well, you know, <laughs> sometimes you guys are, you know, you're, you're, you're more well behaved when there's ladies around. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and professionals, nice. you know, <laughs> professionals <laughs> <have> too. <laughs> So, no, I did. I would, I would, I would get in, in in fights with people over dumb bullshit, trying to create. Like I know, I know how to engineer and how to make all this sound right. good, and like and just because they have this idea of like how they want things to go, and it's just like, but that's not how we do it. Right. You <laughs> just go. Now I just go. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it your way, man. <laughs> it's not it's gonna be great. I'll let you know, but I'm not going to argue with you about it. You know? and you're like, you probably shouldn't do that, but I'm going to hook it up already. You know, I'm like, let's just go. Yeah. Let's do it. The show's going to be over in 90 minutes, right? <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's life so much better. It makes life easier. Yeah. It's like, oh, I don't know. And the band has a good time. Yeah. As long yeah, as they're it's walking just, off stage fun. having fun. Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Yeah. You know? Otherwise, what the hell's the point? I know. I know. It's yeah. supposed to be fun. It's all a game. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, if it starts being like miserable, you know, then nine to five. <laughs> like, yeah. You know? Then you got a then you got a but, friggin' job all of a sudden. Right. It's How like wait a minute. We work that? like for this amount of time, <laughs> and get paid a lot more than we would be working at this amount of time. Like other people working behind a desk, but like mm, they have to work like twice as long, and they don't get mm -hmm. to have the fun that we get to have. They're not. They're not. Getting nobody's going and serving them shots at work. Yeah. <laughs> like nobody's tipping them with a, a little tip jar. You know, <laughs> like they don't have a little tip jar on their desk. Like, mm, yeah. have, and that, they don't have people walking in telling them how wonderful they are and how how oh. fantastic they are. I was like, we have some perks. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta remember those. And the yeah. energy. I always, you know, what I miss the most when I was trapped in my house during the pandemic is that 
friggin' energy of the crowd. Mm, and yes. some people don't believe oh, me yeah. when I talk about that, but it's like when you're in a room with 300 or 1,000 people or, you know, I've, I've been privileged to do like 30,000 people shows on occasion and it's just like when you're in around that many people having a fucking great time, oh, yeah. I mean, just the energy and love just exudes from right. uh, just in all directions and you absorb it. And yeah, like it's, it's the best. It just feels good it's to be in that environment. Feeling. Yeah, to have that effect. You see people having fun and it's just like, it's cool. Yeah. You see people getting off on what you're doing or whatever is going on. It's like, it's awesome. It's, it's amazing. Just, it's cool to be a part of that. Yeah. yeah. It's a blessing to have a job that you get to be around that kind of environment. And, yeah. And like you said, everyone's walking around telling you how awesome you are. I'm like, yeah. Like, even if, even <laughs> if you hurt. sucked. Even if you sucked. You might have sucked. And we're like, no, I really fucked that up yeah. like, today. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like, it's like, it's, they're still telling you you're great. Like, oh, they're yeah. just having fun. Like, it's like. <laughs> I know it wasn't great tonight, yeah. but... Half the time, you're the only one who knows you suck. <laughs> sometimes, yeah, right? Oh. Yeah, sometimes that happens. And there's a time and place to be completely serious. I totally get that, you know, obviously. But, <laughs> but yeah. you know. Rehearsals. No. I, well, rehearsals can be, yes. <laughs> they well, obviously, it, obviously, you have to focus. You have to be serious. It takes discipline. It takes drive and all of that stuff. All of that. I'm not discrediting all of that stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. But, you know, ultimately, it's like, you got to love what you're doing. Otherwise, it's, Why this, are you business, doing it? this business is... I mean, if you really want to try to do something in this business, it's like you got to really love it. <laughs> you yeah. should really love it to do it. Oh, yeah. You know, unless you don't care and you just want to do it for fun on the side or whatever. That's great. But that's great. <laughs> that's too. all great too. Yeah. create, do it, make music. Yeah. You know, but it's tough business. It is. Oh, yeah. it's so hard. Yeah. And I try to explain that to people. And it's just like everything is just so shaky. And it's like, if you get like five years and mm -hmm. and doing the same thing, mm -hmm. that is a blessing. Yeah. Like they, there's there's yeah. so many times where I'll be starting a project or I'll get involved with something and it lasts a couple of years and then like, like entire clubs will just shut down or right. bands will break up or tours will get canceled. Or, it happens you know, all it's the just, time. It's just like and you always have to be prepared for that to happen. Yeah. You know. You always got to have Plan B waiting in the wings mm -hmm. and you got to be you got to be massaging plan B a little bit while you're dealing with <laughs> right, plan Right, exactly, you know? right. And, uh, you make a lot of a, sacrifices too. Like, yeah. You know, I have friends, I mean, you, you know, I grew up, like my mom was like, well, if you really want to do this, you're probably not going to have kids, you're not going to be married, you have to, your career is number one, you know, that's what you learn going, you, know, yeah. you have to put your career first. And a lot of people don't really get, you know, at least in my experience, a lot of, you know, a lot of people don't get married, don't have kids, you know, just like music becomes their life. Like you really have to commit a lot to it. But I also have friends who, who have families and things like that, who tour and stuff like that. But, you know, a lot of them don't get to see their kids on Halloween or they miss birthdays, you know, so they're, you know, there's, it's still a balance, you know, it's, you know, they still have to, they still have to balance it out, you know, they, and a lot of them do it very well. And thanks to social media, that helps a lot, but yeah, but yeah, it's just a, now, I actually have a buddy who's a professional musician, and I'm not going to name names or bands mm -hmm. or anything like that because it's kind of a shit show. But he's <laughs> like, I am the worst father in the world because oh, no. he's always on tour. Oh. And he's like, you know, he, he's a freaking party animal. He's always doing drugs and drinking and like mm -hmm. forgetting birthdays. Like yeah, literally, no. he's just like, I'm a piece of shit dad. And then oh. I got to meet his kids and they're like, he's a piece of shit. Oh really? <laughs> right to his face. Really? Yeah, they are all they all laugh about no, it and they're like, Are they older it. now? <laughs> they're older, yeah. They're in their twenties, they're in the and everything like that. So and it's just it. a big joke that dad yeah. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, because he's like, what am I supposed to do? I don't even, you know, I don't remember what day of the week it is <laughs> half the time. And he's like, and I'm just, I go on the oh, road no. and then tours get extended and I miss all kinds of stuff. And I was just like, I, I'm fucking terrible father. He must be successful enough that his kids are <laughs> happy. Yeah, you know, it was, it, it seemed like a lighthearted kind of like play about <laughs> right, it. But yeah, he right. was, he was serious about it. Like I was oh, talking God. to him before I met his kids about how he felt bad about, you know, <laughs> like not being able to be there all the time because yeah. it's like once you once you reach a certain level you're out doing the you're doing the gig yeah yeah, yeah. it's a it's a trip yeah. yeah it's a like you said it's a huge sacrifice that yeah. you have to make to do this thing that you love so much yeah you're you're definitely gonna miss some things you yeah know, you know yeah uh, yeah it's fun but though. there's it's, a sacrifice in everything though so you know it is you have to you have to focus uh you have to focus your aim in one direction and sacrifice mm -hmm. everything else around you to succeed mm -hmm. in this world mm -hmm. you know you can't just you just kind of half-ass your way in, 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 yep. in a couple different directions and hope one of them pans out. Right, it's like, right. No, you, you're doing this one thing, right. and you're going to put your all into it, yeah. and everything else is secondary. Yeah. And one, that's the yeah. only way to do it. Yeah, you have to have a number one thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and that, that's... 
you know, it'd be nice to be able to do everything. I try too much sometimes to yeah. do more than I should be doing. <laughs> so God, story of my life. Yeah. I say that all the time. Yeah. I'm like I have to remind myself, okay, like take 10 minutes and just sit on the couch and do nothing. And yeah. I'm, like, I, so I'm like, I got to time myself because I'm like <laughs> a minute in, I'll be like, what else do I have to do? Like, oh, oh what else can I be doing? I'm like multitasking all the time. Like, oh. no. Yeah. It's like I have to make myself. That's why yoga is great. Because it forces me to stop, to sit still for an hour and focus on that. Yeah. You know? I started my meditation process meditation. during the pandemic. Yeah. I, I always messed around with it, but I was never any good at it. Mm -hmm. And like, mm -hmm. I really was like, every day we're going to sit morning and then we'll sit at night. And mm -hmm. I, mean, I suck at it. I can't keep my head straight. And I just do five minutes and better. work your way up to 10. And now I'll sit for 30 minutes in silence. And just go, I'm just going to take this 30 minutes and throw it away. Yeah. I'm going to sit here and do nothing. I'm not going to think about shit. And, uh, and if thoughts come, I'm going to ignore them and, and just look just, at them and yeah, notice and, them. Yeah. And just note them and move on. Mm -hmm. And that has just changed everything for me yeah. to really separate myself from that. Like, go, 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 go. What can I do next? Trying to multitask all the time. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah, it's 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 put like reality in perspective for me, mm -hmm. and I it's try so to like good. limit how many things I try to do a day. I'm like, you're doing three things today, you're done. That's, that's good. It. That's a good way to do it. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Because otherwise, I'm like, oh, I could have done seven things. At the end of the night, I'll have gotten like four things done, and I'm, I'm like I said, I'm only doing three now, right. right? But like maybe I got four, maybe I got five things done. But in the back of my head, I'm like, I could have done seven. <laughs> right. Why didn't you do <laughs> eight? Know. Why did you? Yeah, uh, I know. It's just like, I know. Oh. So even though you're successful, you're still beating yourself up because you hold, I held myself to such yeah, a standard so there's where the negative you always part of it. think you can get more done than you should be getting done in a day. Yeah, you gotta let it, let the negativity ne let the negativity go, Jason. Oh yeah, that's the <laughs> calm, out. calm. I've been loving it though. <laughs> it's been a fun journey. Yeah, I'm really. Uh, as far as like the pandemic just destroyed everything and the financial the end of it, and like the economy mm -hmm. of it, my job mm -hmm. and everything, but oh, it yeah. gave me that time to really hone in on just being a person. Absolutely. I never really focused on that part. Yeah. <laughs> as long as like <laughs> I can learn these skills and I can do, look at me juggle all these things. Right. <laughs> I can do stuff. The world needs me to, you know, be a useful tool. And I yeah. made myself a useful tool, but I never made myself a person. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's an interesting way to look. I'm going to remember that. Yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting way to look at it. Because yeah. you just get lost in all the other stuff that you have to do all the time or everything external. Oh, yeah. That's going on, you know, and just uh, forgetting about your inner peace. And then all of a sudden it catches up to you. You're like, oh. Yeah, I haven't been paying attention to this at all. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I was sleepwalking through all of that. I like, I was thinking about something else the whole time while I was doing that. Like, you know. Yeah. Like. <laughs> I just blew me away. So it was nice to have that, that moment of like, you can't do anything, sucker. You can't. So figure that out. <laughs> yeah. It's like, ah. You can't do anything. Yeah, try yeah. and sit still. Yeah. It's a beautiful place mm -hmm. to be. Yeah, I'm it's good. I'm for glad. It. I'm happy for you. That's yeah. good. Thank you. That's good. I, I found so much peace when I did yoga, too. I mean, when that is kind of where it started for me. I was like, I'm kickboxing. I love cardio. Like, I was like, I just like to sweat and all this stuff, which I, I love hot yoga. It's my favorite one, which is, I sweat my ass off. But just yoga itself, totally. I was like, I'm never going to like it. I'm never going to like it. Changed my life. Totally changed my life. Like, oh, yeah. it just totally centered me because I'm the same way. I'm, I'll do a million things at once or try to cram a billion things into the day and I'm like the energizer bunny and then I'm like, mm. <laughs> like what am I talking about I don't know I'm talking too fast I have a million things to say like <laughs> stop <laughs> breathe <laughs> count to 10 pull it back oh yeah you know you get yeah. so much more done that way like yeah. it doesn't seem like you would but whenever you slow down a little bit and, and just take a deep breath and mm -hmm. really come from a genuine place of like awareness and focus as opposed mm -hmm. to just like, oh, I got to get it all done as fast <laughs> as I can. Yeah. And the quality of the work is better. Yeah. When you slow down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It is. No. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, you know what? I think, uh, I think that's a great place to, to wrap it up. We've all been right. talking for an hour. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I dig <laughs> it. Fun. Yeah, me too. That was fun. I you you've been a fantastic guest. You know that. I'm gonna. <laughs> I you gotta you gotta come back on again. Oh, I, I really love enjoy to. talking with you. <laughs> I don't even know why. We, we, I was just bullshitting. That's all this is. <laughs> I you know I invite people on and it's they're nice just like I don't, I don't know what we're gonna talk about and I we're not gonna talk about anything. 
<laughs> that was really <laughs> nice. We're gonna just we just shoot the shit, and you That's know, cool. you know, just go back and forth, and and it's just a podcast. It's nothing serious. Yeah, nothing thanks. to be afraid of. Oh my god, don't ask it many hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No, no, no. That was cool. We're not here to pry or anything That's like cool. that. So, well, That's yeah, yeah, thank you've you. been amazing. I want to thank Thanks, my man. guest, uh, Sean Coey, the amazing vocalist. You, Thanks, uh, man. you were a fantastic guest. Thanks uh, for having me. Please, 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 hit the subscribe button. Give us a like. Ring the bell and uh, check out our social media. This has been to the fullest with Jason Froberg. Peace. Yay! <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that was really fun. Yeah. You're really good at this. <laughs> Thanks for watching To the Fullest with Jason Froberg. You can check out more podcasts here and subscribe by clicking right here. We air new podcasts every Monday morning on Space Brain Station and all of your favorite podcast apps.